Hi, welcome to Please Be Nat 20, the only game show focused on radical empathy and cutthroat kindness. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. I am so excited for today's episode because I'm joined by three, well, two dads and a, d a daddy master. That's me. That's you. That's right. The crew from Dungeons and Daddies is here to get nice. Today, we are joined by Freddy Finger Blaster 9000 Wong. Beth loves Anthony and Freddie May, and Anthony depressed Birch. <laughs> hey guys. Hello. Hi, what a lovely jumpsuit, Stop. I must say. Thank yeah. you. As I've said many times before, I trapped myself in this beautiful prison when I wore it for episode one, uh, and now it's just so become funny. the costume yeah. for the show. But I like it, it looks really good, thank you. I love five when points... a costume becomes a uniform, yeah, you know? And five points to Beth. Oh wow! Who's ahead of the curve? <laughs> That's, That's right. Playing. That's how I was playing. Uh -huh. I was about to say that Beth brought a pink shirt but it was too close to that pink, so she had to change shirts. It was lovely, though. But it looked great. And she looks fantastic <laughs> now, and whatever she chooses to do is fine because she's a woman and she's self-empowered. That's, That's great. great. Um, <laughs> God damn it! No points for that. Huh? No, I, 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 can I can explain. I can explain why. Okay. <laughs> there are three ways to earn points in this game. One is by playing games. Another is because I feel like it, and the last is through any time points or punt. <laughs> It's been through a lot. It's been a long year. I, I meant to find an I and an S, but that's okay. Oh, I took the S for sneeze. If you can sneeze 50 points, I don't know why I put it on there. Ooh, that might happen. It could happen. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Well, you can earn any time points any time in the game and earn five points by doing it. Call them. Is there someone in your life that would love to get a ring from you? <gasps> Affirm Char. Beth gets it. Affirm me. That's it. <laughs> and rub to back. Give a consensual back rub to anyone else on the set. Each is worth five points. Each can be done whenever. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay? So we're going to get rolling right on down the line. I want to get to know you guys. Starting with Freddie. Hello. Would you consider yourself a nice person? Sometimes. <laughs> Do you want to elaborate? Like sometimes when people are not nice people, I'm not going to be nice to them. Okay. That's yeah. why. That's. I love it. I think that's know. great. I yell at people now in public, dude. It's sick. What was the last time you yelled at someone? Yeah, someone said something shitty at the coffee shop. What'd they oh. say? They, 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 they. <sighs> You're trying to trap Freddie to say something. Well, like I want to know what it is. Like they were like doing like the like darling, you know. And honey. you screamed at them for saying calling you darling. Them. I was like, hey, <laughs> hey, nah, dude. Uh -huh. Nah, dog. I feel like people kind of lost the thread with how to behave in any kind of retail situation during COVID. I'm just saying they can't. Yeah. They can't fight back. So it's on us to fight for them. They got a job. I always the say I'm a rescue. <laughs> <laughs> they have a job, they can't yell at the customers, but I can. Getting back into it, Beth. Hi. Hi, thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. Of course, would you consider yourself a nice person? Um, I, I think I'm a, a, a kind person, but Long maybe not answer. a nice, you know, you know, Sondheim always says nice is different than good. He does, um, <laughs> he And does. so I don't know if I'm a good person, but I, 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 yes. <laughs> okay. That works for me. Moving on. <laughs> Anthony. No, I don't think I'm a nice person. I, I, I want to be. I'm trying to be every okay. day. I'm like Angel from the TV show Angel. Wow. I'm trying to find redemption every day. Yeah. But uh, no, I, I, I'm not good enough at talking to people and understanding social cues to like be nice. So I'll say something I think is a compliment and they go like, that's an insane thing to say. So I try to be kind and I end up, I think, coming off like a, like a lecherous man. <laughs> <laughs> Lecherous, I don't think it's been said on the show before. Wow. It's the first time for everything. Yeah, I'm gonna say it more than once, so <laughs> okay. hold on to your hats. Diminishing returns, so <laughs> I'll give you five points now. Oh, great. You're gonna get a lot of practice saying nice things today because Aww. it is time for our first game. It is called, ready the graphic, it's called Nice Breakers. Wow. I know. That's great. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Five points to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you guys seem like pals. Yeah. So let's put that on display and monetize it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. I want you each to say one nice thing about each of your competitors, and for each nice thing, it will be 15 points. The person being complimented, though, does get to decide whether it counts for points. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. So, if you're gonna be spiteful, no, you this know. This is easy peasy. Okay. Do you wanna start? Yeah, absolutely. Great. Beth is probably one of the most talented artists I've ever met in my life. She recently had a one woman show that like was genuinely trans transformative. I've people known actually years. liked it. People like it was a one woman show people didn't have to lie about when they yeah, came out. Yeah, you could tell. Yeah. They you weren't lying. <laughs> no, it was actually wonderful. Beth is uh every day that Beth works with us, I feel like we're lucky because I feel like she's 
always an inch away from completely rocketing into the stratosphere and leaving us uh, mortals behind. Uh, Freddie is one of the most devoted and creative people I've ever met who will just become interested in something and then keep working on it until he's good at it because he finds a lot of joy in, in mastering skills. When we started this podcast, it was just a dumb idea we had in a car. Yeah. It was purely Freddie's vision and drive that turned it into a podcast and made us all sit in a room together and make it uh, something genuine. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you, Anthony. I love when that happens on this show because it's about the jokes, but it's also really nice. Yeah. And I like seeing friends. I need to change what know, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony can't go first again. That's not fair. <laughs> Do you want to go next, Freddie? No, Beth should. Okay, Beth. Okay. Um, <laughs> Freddie. Yeah. You are one of the most altruistic people in regards to your genius that I've ever met. So you'll take something like, it was like you love. That's a good You love. You love giving advice so much in a kind of heart, <laughs> in this kind of heart, okay, in right. this kind of heartful way that like will I almost said heartless. Oh my god! Um, in this in this kind of heartful way that you will take whatever somebody is interested in and make yourself interested in it just so you can like give them better advice on it. <laughs> you will drop anything at any time to help out your friends, and you have one of the most infectious like lovely laughs. Aww, um, thank and you, yes, I love you. Anthony, I can't believe I'm making eye contact with you while I'm saying this, but I think that you're literally like one of the most unparalleled storytelling geniuses of our time. You're also like somebody who would do anything for the people that you love. Like if I'm like, give me your arm right now, I'm gonna gnaw on it, I need something to chew on, you would absolutely be like, cut that bad boy off. <laughs> and oh. I think you're like, you've got the biggest heart and I just love you. So there. I love you too. Great. Okay, so that's 30 points, 30 points. Wonderful, beautiful stuff. And now Freddie is going to meet that bar I'm and maybe I'm not surpass even it. I'm not even kidding. I was like, Beth, I think that the um, the five stud earring that you have on your right ear matches your necklace really well. It just speaks to a great aesthetic sense. Thank but you. But it feels like that's a pretty. Actually, that makes me feel pretty good. It's good just overall. Yeah. Uh, right. Trusted your instincts. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Anthony is the single greatest egoless creative co crea collaborator that I've ever worked with because he's the only person I've ever met where you can like, where there's enough distance, where all the work feels like personal, but all, there's enough distance where you can take a step back and be like, oh, what do you think about this? And you will consider that note and be like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll change. Yeah, yeah. And then you'll, you, and you'll make the judgment call there. Most people like are incapable of doing that. I think that's really cool, man. Thank you. Beth. Okay. I, need, I feel like okay. I gotta do two okay. for yeah, yeah, yeah. Because... I, I wasn't gonna say that at first, but then I, yeah, yeah. and then I was sure, yeah. Which, yeah. it was nice to accept, because you do have a, seem to have a good aesthetic uh, and, and sense of fashion. No, it's a good aesthetic, minus yeah. the fact that she ignored the uh, the set design and wore a pink shirt earlier. That's, that's fair. Okay. <laughs> but I didn't have an issue with it, but clearly. Okay, go ahead. Beth <laughs> is, I think, a wordsmith on a caliber that I was unprepared to encounter in my mortal life. Like these are the kinds of folks that you're like, oh, okay, yeah, like I'll read about them. And they are all in New York probably and they're writing like <laughs> stuff like that. So in person and getting to like wallow in and experience sort of the wordplay and the sort of the, the rhythm of the English language, I had no appreciation whatsoever for spoken word poetry and slam poetry, but then when Beth did it, I was like, I get it. I get what this is trying to hit, and I get what this is like, why this is so cool. You guys came to play. <laughs> I don't think anyone's been that like heartfelt in their was nice it a lot of based like <laughs> It was mostly, you know, in Physical regards appearance. to how, you know, yeah, yeah. earlobe. Uh, accoutrement matches. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's because we never say this stuff even remotely. I think other friend groups have like a healthy, regular sense of complimenting each other, and we never do it. So no, we no, figured no. We, we can only get it out when it's monetized. No, For because For, I yeah. like I talk to my mom all the time about how much I love you guys. And, and by the way, me and her mom, good friends. Yeah. Five points. So. <laughs> me and her mom, more than good friends. <laughs> Six <Fair>. points. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. since it's Beth's mom, seven points. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for being so nice. Yeah. But now, it's time for competition. Oh, okay. It's time for deceitfulness. It's okay. time for our next game. Honestly? I did some research, and... Much like New York City is the fifth character of Sex and the City, so too is the Honda Odyssey to Dungeons and Daddies. Mm. 
Yes? yes. Am, I, yes. am I correct? Yeah, you're, you're totally Great. right on. I have asked each of my contestants to tell me the nicest thing they've ever done on a road trip. However, they've each been given the option to completely fabricate their story. So you're going to each wager points on each story. Mm -hmm. And if you're wrong, you lose those points. If you're right, you get them back. And then equal that amount is added on top of that. Wow. If you are the story giver, teller, and you're lying and you fool someone, you get 15 points for each person fooled. Just so you know what you're working with, Freddie, you have 40 points. Beth, you have 47. Anthony, you have 46. All right. All right. So we're okay. going to start with Freddie's story right here mm -hmm. on the left. Freddie, you told me, we were on our YouTube road trip in an RV in 2010, and we came across someone who was just needing to fill up their pickup truck in Montana, and we paid for their gas. That's really good stuff, if it's true. If it's true. If it's true. If it's, if true. it's true. Which one of you wants to maybe call bullshit first, or place your trust in your friend's hands? I'll wager 10 points on this, because I'm not super confident. You know, I have an inkling that this story might be true because all of the, the background facts are there. If, if it's not true, it's a pretty good lie, you know? I know that they went on a YouTube road trip um, in, around then, and I would believe that Freddie would pay for somebody's gas, so yeah, sure, I'll say, I'll say it's true. How'd the conversation go, Freddie? With the guy? Yeah. Most in Spanish. So we were using like Google Translate and he was just like explaining that, you know, he had broken down, he needed to fill up. So it was like, yeah, all right, whatever. We just paid for it. I'll say for 11 points that I think he's telling the truth. Okay. okay. Verdicts are down. Freddie, what's mm -hmm. going on? Oh, hell no. Hell no! It was so oh expensive to put gas in that thing. We had no money. Are you kidding? It was like, it literally cost us like 400 bucks every time we stopped. And oh. so we were just like, we gotta keep moving. Nah, nobody. Cause we were also towing a car, dude. God, that's such good specificity. Good wow. specificity though. Get the Google Translate, that's uh, what got yeah. me. That's I what know. got me. I know. Because you think it'd be kind of problematic. Yeah, so, like, yeah, I would never I would never make that up. Yeah. <laughs> I, would, I would get canceled immediately, yeah. surely. I, I do want to give some fun context, which is before it was emailed to me, Freddie texted this to a different Charlotte, it seems. Yes. yes. Someone, <laughs> so, so someone got a text that someone just Someone believes says, that lie, because Well, but here's the thing that's heard. crazy, because it's like, you had asked for what the story was, so someone got a text that was just this. Out of the blue, the first text message to them, helped out a stranger with their gas while driving an RV. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I think they think that like, this the must be The weirdest fishing for compliments of all time. That's like, they must be thinking like, something's going on right They're now. They're like, oh, has, has you up changed and morphed into like, say a nice thing about yourself? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, Help the stranger pay for gas in Montana. Come over. <laughs> you come, you come over, yeah. yeah. That's a, and I, you were like, I'll text it to you. I was like, you have my number? You went, yeah. Like, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, I have your number. Okay, wow. So. That's 30 points to Freddy for fooling both his competitors and we lose 10 and we lose 11. So you have 37, you have 35, you've got 70. Wow. Maybe we can redeem this episode and not just have this deceit. Nicely done though, yeah. yeah. Anthony said, I'm going out of order. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. <laughs> Five points. Hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're running this great. You're doing fantastic, the flow's fantastic. We're loving it. Five points. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh. I think you're... this is my favorite game show I've ever been on. Okay, five points. What the f And you've all leveled the playing field once again. Anthony wow. said, I once drove six hours out of my way to take my sister to a concert, which she then complained about the entire way home. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wait, though. Um... What concert? The Weepies. What the, what, sorry, what, what is that? The Weepies? They're a band. Yeah, they're Weepies? a band. They're like a, I think they're for dating. They're, they're a man and a woman. They both have to play guitar. They're adorable. What was man, the, sorry, that's, what was? Ooh, that's like the perfect band that could convince me that this is true. <laughs> and then if I, if I may ask, what was the tenure of the, what was to complain about? Was it the decor? Was it their set list? Like it was what? the people in the audience. They ah. were constantly like, here's the thing. If you're in a concert, and it's like a Taylor Swift thing. You can sing along yeah, because you're part of the it's chorus. Taylor and the, Swift. But this and you're was, in a, you're a football stadium. Yeah, you're yeah. a football stadium. This was like a basically one step above a bar. We could almost touch all the people we were next to, and they're singing so loud we literally could not hear the actual musicians. Oh wow! I buy it. I feel like it's a reasonable. I'll thing wager to complain thirty about. points that that's true. Was it at the Regent? Was it in Phoenix? No, no, no. Okay. It was in. It was in uh, like. North California. I'm gonna say that this is false and I'm going to bet five points. <laughs> Playing it safe. So five points on false, 30? 30 on true. On true. Wow. Anthony, reveal. 
please. No, no, no. no. You didn't do you that. You got me, my man. Yeah. Man, the weepies was so good. Uh, wow. It was, it was like, this close to getting you. Yeah. Great specificity. Wait, can I ask then, what, was there any element to this that's true? Or no, I just sort of took inspiration from the documentary film, A Goofy Movie. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. That's, that's you really got good. Me. Props, wow, way well to go. Done. Okay, so 15 points for Fool and Freddy. Beth, you get five, and you can spend that wherever you like. Wow. And Freddy, you're down to 45. Shh, no problem. <laughs> Who cares? And now, for our final story of this game, Beth says, the nicest thing I've ever done on a road trip was when my nephew left his favorite stuffed animal, Barky Dog, at a gas station. We drove the half hour back to the gas station, looked for it and couldn't find it, so I dug through the garbage can in the back and actually managed to find the now very dirty Barky Dog, which stunk up the car for the rest of our journey. No, I don't buy that. <laughs> I think Beth would do this. I, I think she would, true, but I don't think it happened. I don't, yeah, I'm not sure that I think Beth is, is, is imagining a fantasy world where she gets to be the hero of a story here. Because here's why. You tell me they're emptying the trash cans every 20 minutes at a gas station? No, they're it was- They're putting it into the dumpster from the main- No, it was like in the, it, it was in the back. The back? Yeah, it was in a trash can in the back. So you're saying that within the 20 minutes you left, somebody, somebody left, found, it, found it, and put it in the trash. Because I think it had fallen out like right by our, our car. It was 30 minutes too. Yeah, I think it had fallen out right by our car and then somebody found it and then was like, I don't want this <laughs> and like threw it away. And it wasn't like, like soil, it was like, you know, dirty. <laughs> but it wasn't like, it wasn't covered in the liquid. I don't buy it and I'll put 40 points on this. Not, okay. This did not happen. I'll put the rest, 45, 45, the rest of my points. You're all in. All in. Okay. I do think though that Beth loves her nephew. Good, good, nice. I'm gonna bet 10 points and say that I don't believe it. You're both doubting. Here's the problem is that we've been burned by two liars. Yeah. We're now predisposed, you know? Okay, Beth? I don't even have a no. No, I do have a no. <laughs> um, but um, Barky Dog is fine. Like nothing's ever happened to Barky Dog. Yeah. Barky Dog is oh, Barky Dog's a real. good character. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Barky Dog. Can we get? Can you have a picture of Barky Dog? I do not have a picture of Barky Dog. Okay, well, we'll mock up. Text? We'll just put a picture of dog. Here's what he would dog. look like. Yeah, yeah, here's what Barky Dog would look like. Courtroom rendering. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a dog oh, in a yeah. suit. <laughs> Imagine Barky Dog old. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, you get 45 yeah, points. Yassified Barky Dog. <laughs> Barky Dog is slaying, I yeah. think, honestly, and we don't talk about that enough. <laughs> Why don't we talk about Barky Dog's Riz? It's, it's giving Barky Dog. <laughs> I think it's, we can all agree. And also, we are giving 45 points to yeah. Freddy, who now has 90. Yeah. Anthony, you get 10 back. You have 65. And Beth, you're sitting at 47. You hate to see the game rigged against women. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give Beth 10 of my points. Whoa, what? hold on. That's so you selfless. Can't, you can't do that. Do you accept them, though? I, I couldn't possibly. You couldn't possibly. I couldn't. Yeah. Wow. Too kind of you. I'm, I'm going to no but your kind action. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm worried that if you gave me points, you'd get those back. <laughs> <laughs> and for being so generous, being so nice. that is what was going to happen. Yep. But now I'm going to give you 10 points for being so selfless. Oh. Ooh. No good deed goes unpunished. Ooh. Everybody's. There's gonna be a whole on, economy on. of this because now you could barter that 10. Well, not everybody is gonna get it for selfless. What if we all pooled our points and divided it by three? Oh my God. And then we redistributed Collective the action. points equally. Oh we would God. own the means of production. Because so <laughs> we are the means of production. Right now, yeah. Yeah, for points. Where are points coming from? Us, our hands. From each according to their ability, <laughs> right? To, to each, each according, according to their, their needs. needs. Yeah. So. Is that Marx? <laughs> <laughs> yes, comrade. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna discuss theory and then when we come back, we'll have the point totals for you. Our current societal makeup was just as crazy and unthinkable as it will be for someone 200, 300 years in the future from now. Who knows where it ends up? So before we left you, we were discussing <laughs> what to do with the point totals. Before the break, Freddie had 90, Beth had 57, and Anthony 65, but they have actually put their heads together, combined their points, and split them three ways, which comes out to 70.66 repeating. And I, I, I do want to note though, I gave most Yes. of it into it. So do I get anything special? <laughs> <laughs> do you get your moral desserts? I guess if you want those two points that the decimals make We're up. rounding those okay. down for charity. So, so we're rounding. even um, You're even now. at, at That's 70? Great. Yeah. Um, could I use your phone? <laughs> <laughs> my phone? Yeah, I don't, I don't have mine. Why are you She's on? living in the moment. Oh my gosh. Not a phone in sight. Wait, who are you calling from my phone? 
My mom. Oh, she'll she'll pick up right away. Well, yeah, she doesn't have your number, so this is kind of a, a real tr tr like test of like whether boomers can get scammed easily. Because <laughs> you try and scam your mom? Well, no. Dad, imagine the game show where it's you are with your friends and you have to each try and scam the other people's scam parents. Scam your mom. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. So you have to know, you have, a, you, have a, you have a five minute period where you try and figure out as much information as you can about like what's the angle. All right, scam. let's see if she answers. Get I don't, her. I don't so she sorry. might not. <laughs> Hello? Hi, is this Donna May? <laughs> hey mom. It, I couldn't. I couldn't go through with it. I couldn't go through with it. Um, I'm sorry. I'm calling you from um, Freddie's phone. I'm on a game show right now with Freddie and Anthony. Uh huh. And um, and we've decided to split all of our winnings three ways. But I'm gonna try to win by getting an extra five points by calling you on the air. Okay. Do you think that's like ethical? <laughs> I mean, is it one of the things where you can, you know, phone a friend or, or you know, you have other choices or are you supposed to answer it yourself? Well, I mean, I it was kind of like a phone a friend or and then you were the only person whose phone number I kind of had memorized. So but it's not an answer. It's okay. just to have a chat. It's not an answer. It's, yeah, you don't have to worry about anything. Everything's okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, anyways, I, I, I just wanted to say that I love you and um, thank you for being so nice. Happy to help. Yeah, of course. And happy to All right. Come I, to your friend. Yeah, I love you. I love you. Okay. See you soon. All right, bye. bye. Can I also use your phone real quick? No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I'm not going to call your mom, I promise. No. I, I swear to you, even though I am extremely attracted to your mom, I will not call your mom. <laughs> Do you not have your phone on you? No. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I will say five points to Beth. Um, Thank you. Yeah. He used my address book right away to find a number. Hi, is this Donna May? Uh, yes. Hey, it's Anthony. It's Beth's friend, Anthony. Sure. Hi, Anthony. How are you? I'm doing really well. How are you doing? I haven't actually talked to you since last time you were in L.A. <laughs> I know. I know. Well, I'm doing well, thanks. Beth is doing pretty well. Her show really killed. Oh my gosh, I know. She told me, I, I just was like living through her all weekend long, you know. I told her, I'm just amazed and in awe of her. So, yeah, me too. I, like, like like the rest of you, I mean, I'm in awe of all of you. Oh, that's so kind of you to say, thank just, you. Well, yeah, you just, I mean, you just do an amazing job. So um, next week is Thanksgiving. It do is. Do you have something special planned for Thanksgiving? I don't, do you? Oh, well, yes, I, I do. We, we, you know, we have family and friends that come over, so. Um, could I come over? Anyway, well, you absolutely could. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. It was lovely to talk to you, Donna. Oh, nice of you to call Anthony. Take care, okay? You too. All right, thanks, I will. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Wow, uh, five points yeah. to Anthony. You, you, you notice that the conversation felt so much longer and more detailed and in-depth than the one you had. Okay. <laughs> okay well, that's, that's no, because it's because Beth has regular conversations with her mother. I do, oh, I call her every day. You're a special occasion. Yeah. So 75, 75, 70, yeah. which is interesting because you gave the most points yeah, to even everyone else. Yeah, it is interesting. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Think. Doesn't yeah. seem fair all of a sudden. Well, yeah. you'll be happy to know that there is one more game. Ooh, oh, wow. Yeah. Let's go. Mm -hmm. That's right. This one's called Where Empathy Goes to Die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it's die like dice. Oh. It's, a, it's a subtle pun. It sneaks in under the radar. Tis the season of giving. And this December, you can find the perfect gift for a special someone, yourself or both, at Shady Rays. With an extensive array of styles and colors, you're bound to find the perfect pair. And getting a pair won't break the bank, despite being just as good as any expensive pair I've tried. If you don't love your Shady Rays, exchange for a new pair or return them for free within 30 days. There's no risk when you shop. Their team always has your back with personal and fast support. I love my Shady Rays. They protect my precious eyes, and I look cool as hell. I wear them on my morning walks. Shady Rays is also committed to making a difference in communities across the U.S. through their impact program, where they team up with nonprofits to help people live healthy, courageous lives through some of their most challenging times. Exclusively for our viewers, Shady Rays is giving out a very merry deal for the season. Go to ShadyRays.com and use code PLEASEBENICE for 50% off two plus pairs of polarized sunglasses. Try for yourself the shades rated five stars by over 250,000 people. You come here today not as individuals, not even necessarily friends, but as members of a party. Mm. Mm. 
The titular daddies. Mm. Was that ever considered as a name of the show? <laughs> That, that's me. That's, that's I'm you? the titular daddy. You're the titular daddy. The titular daddy. Yeah. Now, anyway, so it's only right that we get to hear from Glenn Close, Ron Stampler, and you're the DM, so uh, God. Or pa word. Payton. Yeah. Yeah. I, or I Payton. play a character called Payton on the show who has a funny voice. I could do that. Then we'll do a that. Funny voice. Okay. People love the funny That's voice. great. So for this game, we're diving dad first into the Forgotten Realms to see how your characters respond in a situation that calls for empathy and varying degrees of niceness. Mm -hmm. okay. So. You're walking on the sidewalk. You round the corner when you find before you a small tiefling girl. She's teary-eyed and holding an empty ice cream cone. Sprawled on the ground in front of her is a wet mound of chocolate chip cookie dough and raspberry swirl ice cream. No parental figure is to be found. Now, I wanna know what you, or your character, does in this situation, but there is a wrinkle. The way you respond to this situation will depend on how you roll. Uh, uh, yes, okay. that's right. The higher the number, the more sincerely nice you can be to this little girl. Okay. The lower the number, the more sarcastic and biting you have to be in comforting her. In both cases, technically nice, but maybe like uh, traumatic. Okay, <laughs> the lower got, the it, number. got it, got it. So, does anyone want to go first? I'll, I'll go, go first. Okay, okay, all right. Beth goes first. Okay, roll it right here on the front. Oh, that is a one. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Critical failure. You now comfort this little girl and. Uh, yeah, you're you're being a real, real son of a gun. Why are you crying, little girl? Um, uh, don't you realize the Im immense amount of privilege you had <laughs> in having an ice cream cone to begin with? And I can see that you clearly squandered that priv privilege and didn't even do the nice business person at the ice cream stand the honor of buying a second ice cream cone <laughs> to make up for your lost first one. Everything is going to be okay for me as I continue <laughs> down my path and I just walk past the little girl. Okay, yeah. Well done. Thank you. Needle threaded. <laughs> I was worried that everyone would get a high number and it would just be nice, oh, yeah, but yeah, yeah, we've yeah, immediately yeah. done away with that. Okay, who's next? I'll go next. <laughs> and we roll. <laughs> Seven. 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 Okay. Okay. So kind of so like somewhere below neutral. Somewhere below neutral. Hey, what are you doing, you idiot? <laughs> hey, you've dropped all your ice cream. It seems you are upset about that. <laughs> That's fine. Just lick it off the floor. You know, I'll grab it for you, and I'm gonna dip my hand in and like hold up. Yeah, you just put it back on. As long as you don't use the parts that touch my fingers or the floor, it's it's good as new. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, superb. And, and, and another little round of applause. And Anthony, you're last. Now, I was going to give you the option to just completely DM this and change the situation as you wish, but if you want to play this character. Oh, no, I'll DM. Okay, I feel like you roll and then you change the circumstances sure. to fit your world. So I'm going to have this tiefling girl roll a wisdom saving throw to see if your advice, either of your advices, has made a positive impact on her. Oh, uh, we're in parallel universes and we're playing these out at the same time. Yep. Dog the lore. <laughs> uh, eight. Okay, so. The tiefling girl looks at you with your hand completely melting with, with ice cream, the dirt and grit from the ground and cobblestones mixing with your own sweat. And she looks at you and she goes, <laughs> why did you do that? Why, why did you ruin my ice cream cone? I was only crying because my, my parents left and I, I actually prefer ice cream when it's off the sidewalk. I was gonna eat it like uh, it is. We can fix that real quick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm dropping that back onto the ground. You drop it. Yeah. Okay, you do so. Yeah. <laughs> so she starts crying again harder because now she doesn't like ice cream that's been touched by strangers, like regardless of whether or not it's on the Well, life gets harder the longer you live, so see you later. <laughs> uh, don't fret, little girl. Uh, there is an ice cream stand that sells ice cream that has not been touched by strangers, and it's only $5,000. <laughs> in its own by me. Are you trying to scam, this child? <laughs> so, trying to scam this child? Yeah, I think with an eight, the child would probably go like, $5,000, that's exactly how much my parents left me when they before they left on a, on a trip to a farm upstate where they could be happy with other parents. And so- <laughs> Are they dead you, or are they swingers? We'll never she know. She gives you the $5,000, everything she has in the world and has enjoys a great big ice cream. And it's the last bit of joy she ever has because she's penniless now. Well, all's well that ends well for everybody because I'm $5,000 richer, and that Bro, kid's parents got away from her. <laughs> <laughs>
Ron, what are we going to spend that money on? Um, probably uh, a bigger ice cream. <laughs> How do you feel as the DM about this? I feel like they did a very bad job. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I think they managed to save it with their creativity. Wow. And their quick thinking. Wow. wow. Would you feel like either did better than the other? I would say Beth probably did a little okay, bit better. Okay, a little bit better. Well then, here's how we're gonna score this. It's a little bit different from how we usually do it, but you're gonna roll this die for okay. points. Anthony, you're gonna get to roll it three times, Beth twice, and Freddie once. Okay. You also, though, could score higher than both of them. Yeah, yeah. That's fair. Right. We leave it to chance. Anthony, probably roll on the table. balls in your court. Ten! Three! Ooh. And a 17. 17. So that's 30 points to you. Beth, you want to roll it twice? Okay. Four. 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 What are the odds? Okay. So that's eight points. All right, I have one roll. <laughs> God! Eight. eight. <laughs> okay, well, so the end of that game is you get 30 and you both get eight. So we're gonna tally those up, and then we're gonna come back, and and we're gonna see what ha and we're gonna see what happens. Yeah. And we're back. We have tallied up the final point totals from our games. Freddie, you have seventy-eight points. Beth, you got eighty-three. All right. Okay. And Anthony, you got one hundred and five. But so, so I think we should. Split them up again. Split them up, up, split them up again. again. Split them up, up again. again. You can do that, but you're all gonna have to share the sash. Okay. So, oh my gosh, we're gonna hold each other like prom people. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna let you guys figure this out. Yep. Good idea. All right, Freddie. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Aww. For the first time in Please Be Nice to Be History, they're all winners, gang. Um, maybe. Does anyone have any hands so you can do some clapping? Here, hold on, hold on, clap. Yeah. Oh, It's just us rubbing our hands against each other. Thanks for watching. Please be nice to me. I hope that you have a lovely day. And, you know, call Beth's mom. <laughs>Thanks for checking out Please Be Nice To Me. If you want to see clips from the show and maybe even stuff that was cut, you can find us at allgood.noworries on Instagram. Again, that's allgood.noworries on Instagram.